Hi everyone, this is Chetan Nayak. So uh, I was informed by a friend of mine that uh, there was a tweet which uh, specified that blue turtle was being detected by the elastic ADR. Uh, this is I think Joe who posted it uh, maybe yesterday I think with uh, a lot of stuff over here especially from the dot data and the dot r data region that it was being detected. Now we are not sure which release uh, this one is. At least it shows, uh, shows that it uh, has been detected as malware detection. So I believe that most likely this is going to be um, uh, either a Yara or Yule based detection that has been performed most likely on the dot data or the dot r data section when it was not in uh, sleep in this case because else it will basically be encrypted. However, uh, let's go ahead and uh, <clears throat> take a look at this theory what Joe has said. So I basically asked him about uh, how it was loaded. He said that he found it in a VT and this is basically the expectation versus, versus reality that apparently EDR uh, of Elastic is detecting brute retail. At least that's what has been said over here. So uh, I decided to take a peek at Elastic. <clears throat> let's see. Um, we have this configuration. I will install the uh, Windows version. I'll configure for uh, the highest prevention mode for all of these. So I'll just, uh, yeah, there's a copy button here. So I'm not well versed with Elastic, but I think this should do it, hopefully. So cd $n colon user profile. I'll install it into the desktop directory. Let's see. Um, it, it might take its own sweet time to uh, complete the download. Uh, let's see how long does it take. We should get an update that the agent has been installed and we will configure it for the highest possible prevention there is. I'll just restart my server that I have here. <coughs> it's a 1.3 server but it still contains the same payload in uh, 1.2.5, 2.6 .2 and all those versions. So let's see what the status. Where is my coffee? Okay, I think I kept it somewhere else. Never mind. So we'll just wait till it's uh, complete. So our aim over here is to see whether uh, the uh, brute retail agent is getting detected or not. If it is getting detected, in fact, then that's pretty great for Elastic because uh, it is probably uh, the first EDR to detect it. If it does not, however, then uh, yeah, I think I don't have anything to say in that specific matter. I mean, everyone is uh, there to check it out. <clears throat> so it looks like the extraction is complete. Do you want to ela uh, install Elastic Agent? Yes. Let's see, we should get an update here that the agent, yeah, perfect. As you can see, we have the agent which is now enrolled successfully. Uh, if I type FLT MC, uh, okay, so it's still not there. I think it is still uh, enrolling over here. It might take a few minutes as you can see, so it might be pushing off uh, the uh, agent, the endpoint agent over here. Let's see if we can take a look at the uh, agent. We can see this is basically my system that I have. We have uh, configured this over here. Let's take a look at uh, the policies. Mm. So we have malware protections enabled, prevent uh, to an extreme case. As you can see, there are no trusted applications or anything specifically over here. Again, prevent, ransomware protections enabled, everything else is basically in prevent mode. Um, let, let's register it as an antivirus as well. I will override uh, the uh, Windows Defender here. Let's see. And uh, the it was updated a few minutes ago. Uh, let's go back. We should have, we should be able to see our installed agent hopefully over here. assets host and uh, yep as you can see we have our host called as please direct me which is uh, basically our host here perfect 
So just to test it out, um, let's uh, go and see, uh, download Mimikads. Let's see if uh, Mimikads uh, is it blocked because it should be blocked in this case. I'll just download a random version of Mimikads here just to see whether the Elastic EDR is working. Download. It should, yeah, it's uh, perfect. So I'll keep show more, keep anyway, and uh, I think the Elastic EDR perfect. So it is working in this me, uh, case, as you can see. Uh, and let me go back and I think there should be an alert section. Perfect. It should show that our msh.exe was blocked over here. So I have a payload here uh, in my system that's in my shared drive. So let me go back and see if we can execute this and get anything over here. So uh, let's execute this. Uh, executing was successful. Let me connect my commander. We can see that a badger has connected. Let's see. We do have our badger from please detect me. Let me search for driver. There should be at least an elastic driver present over here. <coughs> the elastic and you can see the elastic endpoint driver which is currently working. Let's go and refresh our alerts. See if there are any alerts by elastic. I mean, according to the tweet, there should be at least one alert for shell code injection. Um, nothing apart from what we have over here. Let's see if our uh, agent is still connecting back. I mean, I'm new to these, so uh, let's see. Um, not sure where the host sections are. Uh, let's see. I think there was an option in the add integrations option to see all the hosts that are active. I think it should still be connecting back while the internet is active and everything. Yeah, you can see that it was last checked just a few minutes ago, three minutes ago. Perfect. And it's still working. Our payload is still connecting back as you can see over here. Uh, user info, let's say idle time ls and all of it working properly any detections yet nope no detections okay um that would be all from my end for today so this was a quick video to explain that just because yara rules will detect something doesn't mean that it will dynamically detect it in memory don't execute unsigned executables or during any of your red team engagements because that is what will get you caught and that will always get you caught because it's an unsigned executable and the moment it performs any kind of injection, it will be detected. In my case, I simply used a DLL side load to load it into memory and execute it into its own process. And uh, yeah, I can see the agent is still working. So cheers. And that will be all for this video, guys. Thanks.